Hello and welcome to the tutorial on the Ring Central for Windows desktop application and soft phone. When you log in for the first time, you should have a pop up that has the product tour on the right. Feel free to click through that. Um, the information in this pop up does change over time as Ring Central adds new features um, to the application. So we'll just click through this um, very briefly just to get it out of the way. So, at the top, you can see um, a row of icons. Each one of these icons is kind of like a different tab of the uh, application. All right. Starting from left to right, we have the Messages screen. The Messages screen is kind of the one-stop shop for all your um, messages that you receive through Ring Central, such as your voicemails, your faxes, text messages, um, and stuff like that. And you can click on each one of these entries here to, to view on the to view the message. Um, for example, if you click a voicemail, it gives you um, some buttons that you can press to control this voicemail, such as the play button. This is an automatic message to let you know. Um, you can give them a call back, send them a text message back, go ahead and delete the message, save it for later, or flag it for follow up. Or mark it as unread. Um, I use the Mark is unread to black for follow up. I'm not going to do anything with this message right now. I'm just going to leave it in the inbox. And the same thing with faxes. You get a row of buttons to control your fax. And if you click on the view button, it will open it up as a PDF and show it to you right there. Now, if you're a the interface does get cluttered uh, after you receive quite a few voicemails and faxes, um, so you can break them down um, just by clicking on these tabs here to view only voicemails, to view only fax messages, and view only texts. The tab next to the messages tab is the favorites tab. And on this screen, you can manage the contacts that you'd like to, to have on the screen for e quicker and easier access in the future. Um, up right here in the upper right hand corner is a button that says add contact. You click on it, you get to search through our company directory for anyone that you want. Um, for the purpose of this video I have a few lab accounts already set up so I can just add them to my favorite screen. And um, it'll give you their presence information whether or not they're available, busy, or um, offline. And you have the option to call and text them uh, directly from the screen as well. Um, once you have some people in here, there's an uh, edit button at the top. And this just lets you drag it and drop it around so you can reorder them. And just click done whenever you're finished uh, reordering them. Um, the next tab is the call log tab. And this is just kind of a list of all the calls that you've missed and replaced, or received and missed, and even placed. You can click on the I next to any of them, then see the details for um, that event. The contacts tab um, is a direct line into your corporate directory. And from here, you can search for any name. Um, and as long as they have a Ring Central account, again, we'll search for lab um, with our company. They'll show up in this um, directory. So the next tab is going to be your what they call the HUD. And the different the HUD works a lot like the Favorites tab does. However, um, there's one key difference. And that difference is whenever you add an extension to the HUD tab, it also adds it to the presence keys on your phone. And so changing this will actually require a reboot of your phone, and your phone will reboot automatically when you do this. So just to demonstrate, we'll go ahead and add the lab to my presence. And 
it warns you the same thing I just warned you. Um, the contacts will display, display on your desk phone and it'll update with the list that you just created here. So when you click, con click continue, so when you click continue, the phone will automatically reboot and then when it comes back online, it'll have this new list. Um, another uh, cool feature of the HUD is that you can actually undock it from the main window. And what that does is it just opens the HUD in a new window. So you can have it over here. Um, and that's useful so that you can actually go back and forth between the other tabs while leaving the HUD open. Uh, depending on your workflow, that may or may not be helpful. The last tab on the top is the Calls tab. And this is kind of like the soft phone portion of the Ring Central desktop app. Um, the way it works is you just type in the number that you want to call. And you press the call button. Um, I'm not going to do that now because I don't want to bug our front desk. And that's it for the top tab. Um, down at the bottom there are some uh, features that come with the app, such as sending and receiving text messages. Works a lot like the calls um, tab. You just type in the number that you want to text to. We use um, this extension to test with. And you just type in the message that you want to send them. And you can also send texts to um, any cell phone that can receive texts and to any extension on Ring Central. Um, the next tab, uh, or the next um, button on the bottom, is video conferencing. And clicking this will just bring up the Ring Central's Meetings app. And you'll interact with this window. Um, just like you would uh, the normal way if you were to launch Ring Central meetings manually, which we've covered in another video. Directly next to meetings is conferencing, um, and this is where you can view your um, dial-in number and your access codes. Um, again, uh, this information has been covered in another video, so I'm not going to be going over that too deeply today. You have the fax out feature here at the bottom as well. Works pretty much the same way as the text message. However, instead of typing a message, we can drag files directly there and have them faxed like that. And the last button is your settings. And we'll just quickly touch through these. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on them. Um, but you have these tabs on the left which um, correspond to different modules, I would say, in the application, such as um, how to handle calling, um, how much bandwidth to use, whether or not it should automatically answer whenever the, the soft phone receives a call, um, as well as whether or not um, the application should start up every time that you start up Windows. And, when it starts up, if it should start up minimized, or if it should stay on top of other windows. And then I'm sorry, <clears throat> if for any reason you ever need to change the user that you're logged in with, um, you'll have to go to settings and the logout button here, which will take you to the sign in page. And that concludes this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful.